Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. We've started loading up, as you've probably seen in previous videos that we already had it half loaded. We've actually got the last IBC pot on, which is good. Got it all tied down and we have on the trailer, let's see what we got in the trailer. We got some incise, whole heap of brake drums and we've got a bit of lead down the back here. Single old bit of lead, I'm not don't seem to get much lead, so I thought I'd take it over and see what we're going to get for the lead. Be nice to know what we're going to get out of this lot. That's all we can fit in the trailer. But anyway, um, yeah, do a scrap run, get it out of the road, clean up the place, and uh, this is what we've got in the shed. Still got a whole heap of stainless right here. I did have uh, cast aluminium in these, but I transferred it over to here. So I've put it in another IBC pot. There's a fair bit there. That one's been cut, oh, probably three quarters down because I've got the other half sitting over here where we've got all of this is what we've got to process. So we've got an air conditioner here, wash machine there, we've got to process. These two wash machines here, I'm going to do a flipperoo sort of thing. Power out of there. Like I, I may be able not to need to worry about changing the wire harness out of there into that one they're both identical models might be i'll just do the computers like the front panel and the computer board out of that into that and then pull that one out of there because this one's got a fault you put it on spin cycle and it goes for two minutes and shuts off so i reckon that's to do with the main board and something else so i'm just going to do a swap around this one over here's got the drum bucket on it so she flops up and down so she's a pull apart job spare parts anyway it'll make parts for that one the dryer there we picked up um doesn't blow fan or anything but the motor works and uh over the back over here we have our, our, our extruded aluminium gonna wait until we've got a full ibc pod so we can take that over same as the ordinary aluminium which is right beside it and out the back i made use of of the pallet that I picked up put all our pressed aluminium in that's a bonus and over here we have our cast alloy um, well it's not actually cast alloy it's only alley this one because um, there's a lot more aluminium than iron then aluminium radiators I don't know what's in that one have a look geek in that one what have we got in there oh copper radiators alley copper radiators and we've got maybe I'm gonna ask I'll take a photo of this see them i'm going over um i'll take a photo and see if i can get them as heavy melting steel hms it's going to be real interesting on how much this is going to be so stay tuned and we'll get to the scrapyard <music> Integrated metal management back again. Oh, I reckon we're gonna weigh pretty heavy here today. Gotta find out what they want me to do. Whether they want me to go over the way bridge or what. So just bear with us, everyone, and uh, we'll get things sorted out because I may have to unhook the trailer. Go and find out. I don't know. I'm going to try and go away the vehicle on its own. I discussed it with them and that's, they said that was the best way we can do it. That way we can sway the trailer on its own as well. It's all going as inside, so it'll be great. Better wind that up a fair bit by the time this gets lifted off. That'll be up a fair way. Oh, 
I reckon about there is good enough. We'll go and wait this off. What are we? 3.84. Geez, they're nice looking rims. Oh, why scrap them out? Yeah. Damn. Um, Damn. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> right, get these untied. Come off there, you little thing. There we go. Leave that on there, actually. There you go. Geez, you might have time to take one off straight away. See me down there. Where'd my gloves go? One there. Another one there. I'll keep them handy just in case. Tight, very tight. There's three stoves in that one. Trying to keep the dust down. You never keep the dust down anyway. Yeah, he's got plenty of room going under this. Roll them up after. Just keep them out of the dust. I have to take them home and give them a wash in the tub. Just ordinary soapy water. Then you rinse them out. Keeps them nice and good. I better grab my gloves. Done that one well. Get rid of this stuff. The other stove. Put it over here. Sit up there for him. Any good pieces of steel there? It might be alloy, I don't know. Do 
do do do. It is alloy. All right, let's see how much this is going to rock. It feels like the driver's side's heavier than the passenger. A little bit more. I'll, I'll bring it down. And then yeah, you're good. You, you got it. At least I got the steel base ones, not these bloody crappy ones that fall apart. Throw him up there. Yeah, leave that there. He should be able to put that straight back up on that. No worries whatsoever. That's why I like putting it in these. No handling. No handling whatsoever. Just stack it in there. Get the rotisserie fork. Tilt it out. Loving it. Only got that one to go, sweet. Let's hope we don't have to do all the inside. Well, that was a quick empty. Damn quick empty. I'll put him back on. I'll need me straps to tie them back down again, won't I? No, they're away at the moment. Yeah, I could do with a forklift at home. <laughs> Park it there. Just let it go down. Oh, your foot, yeah, just let it go down and I'll fix it while you go around the other side. Because you're on me steel, that's all right. Go out. Oh, oh, struth. That's it. Away you go. Perfect. Pallet jack in one of those, in that one there. One I couldn't salvage. Up. Perfect. Can't go wrong with that. That's the centre there. Keeps it balanced. You don't want a pallet jack, do you? There's one in there. <laughs> She's a bit broke up though. I couldn't get it working. Get rid of all the leaf litter. Grab our strap back out now. Get it all prepared. Make it all quick. I should have just left it on there. Silly me, eh? Go from the drive side over. You watch, it's going to get all tangled up. She just left it on. <laughs> that filled that bin up. Do the trick. Sit it there. Get 
Down. Ooh. Go back a bit. Just tilt it back. And I'll get it on from there. Keep going down. Keep going down. Go back. All good. Right, throw the strap over. Better than them getting run over, I suppose. That's it. Going way up. Supposed to be a warm day today too. That there shouldn't need handbrake. No, we're not rolling. Look at the dust on me. It's truth of light. Two point two eight. I know, got that done. Yep. Weigh it all together. Got me bucket of lead out. Ooh, that feels very heavy. Ooh, strews all right. We on? We are just on. That's all we need to be. All the handbrake on, so we don't roll. Grab our bucket of lead. Probably like five, six kilo. Uh, 4.68. Mmm. Nearly a ton and a half in that stuff. Well, I got the bucket of lead off, so we're not weighing that anyway. Because yep. that was in the trailer. And you got that there. In size. Oh, you're going to do the lead first, I've eh? Oh, you done that? All right. No worries. Eight kilos. Probably half a kilo for the bucket. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take the bucket back so I haven't got to dispose of it. <laughs> yeah, shame about these rims. Damn, nice looking rims. Oh, that might fit my little proton. <laughs> yeah, cheers, I'll go on, back off. Yep, no worries. Uh, just back up or what do you want me to do? He's talking to another guy in there. Um, so what, just back up? Yeah, I guess so, yep. I'll see what he's... I think it'd be easier if I just back up instead of him being yeah, side on. Yep, so he can just sure. drag it out, drag it out and straight into the into the thing. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> uh, we're gonna chuck that up in there. Got another strap to put on that yet. Mow these by hand. Yeah, they should roll out there. Hopefully. I think there's about 30 or, or so here, besides all the little ones. 
No water. Hasn't rained. <laughs> yeah, that time I was here and I flooded it out over there. She was unreal. <laughs> What's going on here? My sailboard's moved. She's moved. That's what I'm locking? Yeah, alright. Yeah, she's moved one way. Uh, piece of steel and hivet. Piece of timber even. Give it a love tap. Yeah, give it the old love tap. It's almost there. It's only that whisker. <laughs> nah. Well, they're on top anyway. They got some weight on these buggers. Wait for Easier than wind it in there. You got to run away. Sounds like he's got a crack in him. Catch the runaways.
That's us unloaded. Sweet. Oh, the tyres look a lot better with 50 PSI on them. <laughs> yes. All right. Tarboard shuts properly. I'm way back in now after that bit of exercise. Doesn't take long for the perspiration to start pouring off the face. Whew. I reckon it's probably 20, 25 to 31 degrees. Estimation. I ain't got a thing in the vehicle here. Like this vehicle's nearly 20 year old. I'm on the scales, yes. I'll go and find out how much it is. Get my double art off here. Go and walk about, probably in the loo. Sounds like a good idea. 2.64, that's about the usual. Whew. I thought you might have been in exposed, mate, in the old loo. Oh, damn. Talk about warm now after doing that. I tell you what, would have been nice to grab those aluminium rims, they were looking beautiful. Brand new, never used, never put on a hub. Oh, I tell you what, would have been nice to get those. Put them on Facebook Marketplace, definitely. Ah, but anyway, I did feel when I was driving to the scrapyard that the vehicle was a bit towy, and I was wondering why. Because we had two ton on the trailer, a bit overweight. But anyway, I didn't think there was that much on there. I was only thinking I had probably, oh, probably about two ton overall, but that's with the ute. But anyway, what we got in, all of the weights and everything, I'll just flip you around with the camera and uh, we'll get down to the formalities. So we start out with pressing steel. We took in uh, one. 1560 kilos which is a bit over a ton at 28 and a half cents per kilo $444.60 then we've got insize better known as heavy HMS insize which is we got that was on the trailer just over two ton which is 2040 kilos 34 cents a kilo not too bad there six hundred and ninety four dollars and sixty cents pretty good there uh just a bucket of lead lead weights uh clean eight kilos so we got a dollar ninety one and a half cents and that came out at fifteen thirty two so a grand total of subtotal Eleven fifty three fifty two. Then you take out our waste levy because of the pressing steel. Always going to get a waste levy with that. So we bring home one thousand and ninety four dollars and twenty four cents. It doesn't cost me much to actually go over. Well, you take out. I'd I'd estimate probably hundred dollars worth of fuel. Um, I do travel anything up to, I think it's two hours over and two hours back. And if it's only costing me $100, it's worthwhile. Even with the waste levy, you know, what is it, $59, barely see that, $59.28 with the waste levy. So you could say $160 because they've got to take that out. But every time I go over with pressing steel, I get that waste levy. Um, so if I don't go over with pressing steel or any sort of steel of that nature and I go with non-ferrous like copper, uh, extruded alloy, anything like that that's non-magnetic, I don't get the waste slip. So I come out in front even then. But it just comes down to, it's one of those things if you want to get into it, you've got to be able to pay for the, what you can do and accept what you get for what you can do. So in the, anyway, um, I've totally enjoyed creating this video for everyone. I just did not think I had that much in the trailer. A lot of insights. But anyway, if you've enjoyed tagging along with me today, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So I hope you've enjoyed tagging along on this scrap run, like I said. 
and uh, happy scrapping, happy dumpster diving, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!